Hi, this is Christina Rodriguez. Today is day 13 of 100 Days of Design and Feng Shui, and we're talking about how to place art and accessories. Interior design is more of an art than a science, and there aren't really any absolute measures on what good design is. Is. Also, aren't any hard and fast rules on how to put a room together, which is why people get frustrated and call me. But even though there are no hard and fast rules, there are basic guidelines, and these are called principles. And the principles of design are proportion, scale, balance, rhythm, emphasis, and harmony. Why am I telling you this, and what does it have to do with placing art? Well, Proportion is what comes into play here. So proportion is the relationship of parts to each other or of one object to another. And that's why when you have a tiny painting hanging up above your large sofa, it looks really lonely. Or why that huge coffee table is making your sofa look like a love seat. These objects are not in proportion to each other and it looks funny. So how do you fix it? So with the art, hanging above the big sofa, you can fill in that empty space to bring it more into proportion with two more matching pieces of art on either side. You can put those small wall shelves and place candles or small sculptures on them, or you can use wall sconces as well to fill in that empty space. With your accessories, consider buying at least one large piece and then arranging your smaller ones around it. Vary the sizes and use odd numbers because that's more interesting to look at than even numbers. Lots of small objects tend to get lost in a room and that makes them out of proportion with the large furniture pieces because then all you see is those big furniture pieces and then those smaller accessories. Instead of looking like accessories, and decorations, they start to look like clutter.